What's that? Hmm? Hey, that's... Mr. Romanus! It's got something. Mr. Romada. The time has finally come. Now here's a simple explanation of our strategy. Uh, can you keep it brief, please? I have trouble remembering long-winded things. I just got done saying it would be simple. You do remember that, don't you? Right. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, go on. I'll give you detailed instructions when the time comes. But first... About the rune cannon. Show it to me one more time. Fort El Il is at the southern end of Kuluk. It also serves as a window to commerce and diplomacy. It's called a fort, but it's more like a large castle. The rune cannon is at the top of the building. If we don't destroy it, we won't be able to get close. So first, we'll send in a detachment to get rid of it. At the same time, our main force will remain in front and attack Kuluk's first fleet. This fleet usually roams the area near the harbor in case the rune cannon cannot be fired. There are times when the rune cannon cannot be fired? Once it's been fired, that particular rune cannon takes time to reload. It was written in the letter from Mr. Amada. We'll have to trust that information. This downtime will be the perfect opportunity for us to strike. I see. So we're going to make them fire the rune cannon once, then destroy it before they can fire another round. Well, that's pretty much it. Have I made myself clear? Want to hear it again? Okay. Shall we go with this plan, then? I'd like to execute this in the morning, three days from now. Everyone, please use this time to get ready. I'd like you to decide on members for the detachment. Come talk to me whenever it's convenient. So you are going after all, even though you finally regained your kingdom? Yes. If we leave everything as is, we're bound to suffer the same consequences. Even you know that, don't you, Setsu? Yes, sir. All right, everybody, listen up. Once we hit El Il, the threat to the islands should disappear for a while. It may only be temporary, though. But remember, we're fighting for lasting peace. That's exactly what's most important to all of us now, right? Right. And that's why I chose to put my life on the line. Okay then, decide which members you want to assign to the detachment. They'll be separated from the main force for a while, so the ones you choose must be able to hold their own in a fight. By the way, you can't go. You must stay here and command the forces. 
Okay then, I will accompany the detachment and instruct them directly. Lady Eleanor! Wait a minute, won't it be dangerous for the tactician to accompany them? We must destroy the rune cannon by any means necessary. That's why I'm going. I've got the map of the fort and the structure of the rune cannon memorized in my head already. If that's what you think, I have no right to stop you guys. But please be careful. Okay. The decisive battle will take place tomorrow morning. I'm counting on you. Tomorrow's our big moment, isn't it? If we survive tomorrow... Don't worry. We'll be able to return to Rosaril. That's right. Let's do our best tomorrow. I wonder what I'll do when I finally get back to Rosaril.
Hey, what are you doing here? We've got to get an early start tomorrow. I was wondering, that rune of yours, is it a great burden? You know, Brando died alone, but that was his choice. He never let anyone, not even his friends, get close to him. It's pitiful to think about, actually. Did Brando say anything? No, never mind. Uh, I'm sorry, forget what I said. So, you're not going back to Middleport or the Rheinbach family fleet after this fight is over? <laughs> what kind of question is that? No, I'm just asking. Well, I've already severed my ties to that place. In the eyes of Middleport, I'm a dead man. I intend to stay in the pirate business. I'll spend my whole life repaying Lady Kika for taking me in. What about you? Aren't you going to find your calling? I don't think so. I too would rather stay as Lady Kika's right-hand man. Well, first, we have to get tomorrow over and done with. Oh, right. So take good care of it, okay? Thank you. 
Tomorrow, we're going to show them just what we're made of. You hear me? Yes, sir. Just don't die on me. Got that? Yes, sir. And if I should die, you'll go back to your mom. Yes, sir. Wait a minute. You found my mother? Uh, well, uh, actually, uh, oh, enough of this depressing talk. We're going to sleep, and that's final. Yes, sir.
Things should come to a close soon. But please... Yes. <sighs> Do not worry. Now's not my time to die. Since I volunteered to fight this battle against you, I'm prepared for any consequences I may face. It's your decision. Live your life however you see fit. There's more to this world than Kuluk, you know. Father... <sighs> In order to thrive, you must survive. Yes, sir. Wasting your time here like this. <laughs> Everything's ready on my end. Then would you please help me out? Sorry, but working with rune cannons is not my expertise. Oh, oh, yeah. Such a busy, busy day! Well, it's finally time, isn't it? My strength is yours to wield. Use it as you see fit. <sighs> Although it may not be very much. Just wanted to let you know that. Well, good night.
The trial of the ruin will end. The time for atonement shall pass. The time for forgiveness shall begin. That is your destiny and the destinies of the 108 who have gathered around you. From here on, unfortunately, I still do not know the answer to that at this time. Sir, you did not have to send Lady Eleanor and our king into enemy territory. Either way, I know that it was the best thing to do. I am sure His Majesty wanted it that way. Besides, I... actually, everyone has absolute faith in you, after all. All I can do now is wait. That is why I cannot help but speak with such worry. This fog is really supposed to clear up soon? Of course. Lady Eleanor said so. I wonder how she predicted it. I would like for her to teach me how to read the skies sometime. After me, I am to be taught first. Why? It would be a waste of time teaching you. Besides, do you even have the aptitude for it? What? What is that supposed to mean? Uh, the decoy fleet has been sent towards Elil. It's finally time.
Reporting in. We have yet to receive any word from the Second Fleet. We fear all those ships may have been... Uh, understood. Thank you. Captain, a fleet is approaching us. It appears to be the enemy. Prepare for battle. Be aware of the rune cannon's firing range and draw the enemy close. Confirm the fleet's identity. Yes, sir. confirming the opponent. Listen, everyone. Advance straight ahead. Parts of the enemy's main force might have survived. If there are any remaining ships, we'll finish them off. numbers are staggering. There's a strong possibility that what we hit earlier was a decoy. Men, let's go!
What? Why are you here? Answer me! Long time no see. I heard rumors about you, and I just had to find out for myself if they were true. I see. So it was you all along, wasn't it? You were the one who spread the information about the Scarlet Moon army breaking through our northern border. You're quite right. That, in fact, was me. But I'll have you know, that information wasn't false. <laughs> so, you used your family in your homeland. Your skills in manipulation haven't faded in the least. His <laughs> left hand... It's poisonous. Be careful. Please. How ridiculous. A small time crook trying to pass himself off as virtuous. Oh, enough with this ridiculous show.
that'll do it for this one. All that's left is...